Hi, this is Teresa of Teresa PC Design. This is Kimberly Parker. Hi, this is Stevie Edwards from I Love TV Designs. You are tuned in live at CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Fashion Talk Radio. Hello, you are listening to Kelly O'Bark at CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Welcome to CIE Fashion Talk Radio. I'm your host, Mr. Damian Sanders, and once again, you are in the cradle with the babysitter. Now, this is a spot where fashion meets music, and music meets fashion, and nothing but the best falls into the cradle with your nephew. Now, today is no exception. We have a very special guest. He's a talented artist. He's out there doing his thing in a major way. I got Mr. Roderick King in the house, man. How you doing, sir? So far, so good. It's a great day. Now, first off, Rod, man, thanks for taking the time to holler at CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me, actually. Now, I understand you're from Jackson, Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. I currently reside in um, Orlando, Florida, but I'm born and raised in Jacksonville. Now, you got a hot single out there right now that, that caught our attention call, Because I Win. Tell us about how you came up with that title and that joint right there. Well, I, I like to help people, and being there, I like to inspire people. I feel like the music should reflect the PCU because I feel like music is kind of like giving the PC the skin or giving the PC itself, and I wanted my music to reflect that. So I wanted to make a beat that was catchy because, you know, the younger generation, we always love catchy beats. And I said, you know what? Why not add some motivational content in the song? So to give a person a reason to believe in something that they're following, because I love to restore my dreams, and I'm pretty sure there's other people that are really hustling to try to make things happen. Why not turn on something that's just as positive that can get you that energy flowing for the day to go out and actually accomplish something big? So that was the reason for the song, and it just, it just the way it came together was perfect. So. I felt like it would be a good representation of who I am. Okay, so you um you produced that joint yourself? Um, as far as the track, the the beat was made by Phil Tucker. He's one of my good friends. He's actually a comedian now. Um, and he, he sent me a beat. I told him what kind of beat I wanted, and he sent me that one. And I was like, this is not what I asked for, but the <laughs> beat was so good. I ended up putting a motivational song on it. So I had one song for a whole different purpose and he sent me that and he knew it wasn't what I wanted but I think he knew once I heard it I would like it and the beat just had so much influence like as far as the to get you excited or energetic so I felt like putting something positive on is what it needed shout so I did write the lyrics and context myself big shouts out to the producer the beat was off the chain and I definitely dug the message all day long so when did you know that you wanted to be an artist that is a very, very great question. Um, it's funny the way it came about because um, I actually didn't start singing until maybe eight years ago. And when I started singing, I was horrible. I had to learn how to sing first. I actually had to take vocal training, do YouTube lessons. Like, I just knew this is what I needed to do. And the reason this just helped me out so much becoming an artist because I came out of the foster care system and was forced out into the street at 18. So I've, I've been homeless so many times throughout my life. And it's like I stayed positive. I, I didn't turn to selling drugs. I didn't I didn't rob, steal, and kill. I, I still tried to earn a living the honest way without going too far off the deep end. But what I learned about um, once I started singing, I can take all of the pain, all of the hurt, like everything that I've been through in my past, I can take that and use that as fuel and energy to put into my music so it's like an it's like an outlet so because what i learned as, as a child in the foster care system when you don't have family you really don't have no way to release different emotions that you feel like for an example okay. when i'm scared i would show my i would translate that emotion into anger when i'm hurt i would translate that into anger because that's the only thing you know how to express 
But once I became an adult, I found other outlets to get rid of that past that's actually benefiting me today because I can put real emotion and real feeling into my song. So when I hear a high note, all of that pain that I had no way to release, I can release it through the music now. Now dig that now. That you could absolutely say that your past experiences, you know what I'm saying, made you a better artist today? And much better. And that that's exactly how music should have, because if you notice, even it, it's not one person that can say they don't listen to music. And it's, and it's even, and I hate to put it, but it's the truth. It's even a deaf person that is a singer today and they cannot hear. So music is very influential. So the way you use it, you have to use it as a tool and it's something that will never disappear. So why not use it as a benefit? Now dig that. Now once again, this is CIE Fashion Talk Radio. We are live and in charge and doing it way, way big with my man Roger King holding it down out there in Florida for your nephew one time. Now um, this question, I love to ask this question right here. Now while you was busy um, doing all that good vocal training, who are some of your inspirations that really made you want to um, do your thing as well? Yeah. I would have to say it would be Michael Jackson. Hey now. And, um, it's, it's his voice. It's just the voice. Michael Jackson can't go wrong now. Um, who would you put on your Mount Rushmore of artists that really do it for you the most? Beyonce. Beyonce is one. It's four, four to five people on Mount Rushmore. <laughs> really? Yeah. That's a, that. That Beyonce is a great pick because her music, her um inspiration. Like I don't care what she do, does to produce her music. Like a lot of people say this and they say this. At the end of the day. When they're winning, they're winning, and you can't take that from a person. Big that, and I was a big Destiny Child fan before she went solo. And um, if you could describe yourself in one word, which one would it be, and why? Describe myself as one word and why motivational. And the reason I choose that is because I I don't like to call my past dark. But most people say I would have a rough if I was to tell my story. But any type of failure is not really failure. It's going to lead you into the right direction. Anything that is considered bad can be used as a good influence. So I like to reach out and help people. So motivational is, is definitely what I would like to describe myself as. I dig that. Now this is where fashion meets music. So we got to ask you now: How has fashion impacted your um your mu music career? Fashion is actually a great way to express yourself. And I don't know why I love to dress. I, like everywhere I go, I love to dress nice. I love to smell good. And when, even when I'm not going anywhere and I just dress up and get on the computer and do some work, my effort that I put into whatever I'm doing is extremely, it's extremely much more than I would if I had stayed in a bathrobe. Because when you look good, you feel good. And when you feel good, you can definitely be more, you can definitely get more done. Now, you definitely um, took some took some hot photos. Now, now tell us about that photo shoot. And, and do you have um, any plans about getting into the fashion industry in the future as a model? I actually am. I actually started my clothing line early, like before I actually started working to um, develop my fan base, my following for, for musical purposes. I went ahead and took about eight months and designed my own clothing line. So it, it actually, yes, I can definitely say that, that, um, that, I'm going to look to be the modeling and doing a lot of stuff in the fashion industry in the future, definitely being that I'm starting my own clothing line with this high tears. I said it's a clothing line. I had a dream about um, about a clothing line. The name was John Tear. And the clothing line looked so well in my dream. I woke up and, and did some research to see if the name was taken. And too much came up. So the closest I got to that was high tears. And I built a, a logo and a design for it. And it's actually something that I'm still working to create and develop. So, yes, I can say yes to that question. Now, for all of the models that listen to this show that's always looking for some good advice, what advice would you give them right off, you know what I'm saying, to, um, to further their careers? Inspiration. You always have to wake up every day looking to fuel yourself with inspiration. You have to look up, wake up every day with motivation. You have to look for it. Don't wait for it. Don't, don't wait till somebody get a fire up under you to get you to start moving to do stuff every day wake up and look for something that inspires you because you will be more productive when you have a fire underneath you a desire that's burning to create what it is that you are here to create and that comes from the man that says that he is winning and he refuses to lose 
ever again. I dig that. I love that joint. You got to check him out on Reverb Nation. My man, Roderick King. He's a very, very talented artist, man. We support him over here at CIE Fashion Talk 10,000%. Now, for those fans that want to get up with you, how do they go about doing that? Um, if you can spell my name, you can um, you can find me anywhere. My name is Roger King. That's R O D R I C King. If you Google me, you'll find me. Uh, my website is also RogerKing.com. Any social media page, just type in Roger King, and I should pop up. Well, I'm yeah. probably one of the easiest artists to find. Well, we got it looks like we got the last name right, man. King is we definitely got a king on the phone, man. That's doing it real big. That's ready to lead his people, man. We appreciate you taking the time. Thank you for the opportunity. I appreciate it. Now, before we go, any quick shout-outs for the streets? Um, I definitely want to shout-out Eclectic Entertainment and Peace and Harmony Consulting AC. Eclectic Entertainment is the entertainment company I work for, and Peace and Harmony Consulting Agency is my sponsor. And there it is, y'all. That's my man, Roger King, CIE Fashion Talk Radio. And you do know that. CIE Fashion Talk Radio. Hey, everybody, this is Nakia Brown. Yo, this is Kelly Main. And King King Slim. Hello, everybody, this is Carla Serenity, and I am loving it on CIE Fashion Talk Radio.